What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's Monday, but you know what? It is the end of April, which is a great thing, and it's the beginning of May, but this is a payday Friday, and we are halfway through, well, pretty close to halfway through the year, which is a bullish sign because remember, these markets are going to absolutely explode before this year is over. Bitcoin will be over 100,000. Mark my words. Write it down. Pin it on the old fridge, folks. You haven't seen nothing yet. What they are doing right now, we like to call it the old rock you to sleep because that's exactly what they are doing. They are rocking you to sleep before they set these markets off. I can't freaking wait. I know where we're going. I know where the XRP is going, Bitcoin's going, Cardano, Solana, all of it. I know where it's all going. And I am going to reap the benefits from each and every single one of these cryptocurrencies out there because I am loading up. I am backing up the old train. There you go. Good morning, everyone. Today looks like a great day to load up our crypto bags. And it sure is because Bitcoin, it's down 2%, coming in at $62,314. Ethereum. And right behind it, it's down 3.72%, coming in at 3,162. USDT and USDC both coming in at 99 cents. It's XRP. Well, it's a mean lean 50 cents. Pretty much the same price we were like, what, four, five, six, seven years ago. I know, it's crazy, sad, to be honest with you. Down 2.32%. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 2 trillion, 323 billion. Where are we going to go from here? I don't know. I don't. You know, I can give you what I, I my predictions, what I think, what I feel. Nothing's a hundred percent in this space. You know, whenever you make a prediction, it's either you're right or you're wrong. It's 50-50. I do believe that the bottoms, if not in, are pretty freaking close to being in. I mean, it might be another little drop, 62, 61,000, which is nothing. It's peanuts. But in the long scheme of things, three, four, five months from now, these prices are going to be uh, you're going to be begging, are you? Not, I don't want to say you're going to be begging. You're going to be wishing that you bought in at these prices because Bitcoin's going to be up through the roof. All your other favorite altcoins are going to be, you know, 100, 150, 200x from here. These markets are going to look so different. But this is the time where you should be buying, not financial advice, of course. People hate buying when it's in the red, but when they see a little bit of a green, there's something in our minds, you know, that hits that switch. It's like, holy crap, I got to get in. I got to get in. And then you get in, then the thing comes back down and you lose your money. Uh, people hate buying when these assets are in the red. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is what I am looking for. Lux Lions, time's running out. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow's the day we take the snapshot and you get your payouts. And the beautiful thing about it is that if you come in last minute tomorrow and you buy on April 3rd, you get your payout on May 1st. But then June 1st, if you never buy an NFT again, you're still going to get another payout because that's how we do it. And that's how all crypto communities should do it. Bring utility as they are bringing out a project. The biggest web Free gaming studio is currently being developed. We showed a little sneak preview on in the auction on Saturday. Wager and system is being built as well. Bitcoin ETF slowdown is a short term pause, not the beginning of a negative trend, says Bernstein. Investment platforms will take some time to establish the necessary compliance framework to sell Bitcoin ETF products. It states that the Bitcoin ETF slowdown it's a short term pause. Not the beginning of a negative trend. Brokers' expectations of a Bitcoin high of 150,000 by 2025 remains the same. It's what we've been preaching. Bitcoin's going above 100K. Do we see 150,000 this year? I don't know. We might see that next year, but it could happen this year. The Bitcoin mining cycle remains healthy after after the halving. It says the slowdown of Bitcoin's exchange traded fund inflows is a short term pause because Bitcoin's ETFs become more integrated with private bank platforms, wealth advisors, and more brokerage platforms, and not the beginning of a worrying trend. The broker notes that the world's largest cryptocurrency has been range bound in terms of price with no clear momentum either side following the halving. That's what I've been talking about. We're ranging. 
We've been ranging. 60 to 74,000 is the range. We've spoken about this for weeks, for months, before Bitcoin even made its further push up into the range. We told you the range we were going to be sitting in. And when it breaks out and confirmation is above 74,000, forget it. There's no coming back. It is just straight up explosions, folks. Chart veteran who predicted Bitcoin's 2018 collapse. He said the Bitcoin bull run may be over. Yeah, this is everyone's favorite. He says Bitcoin's bull market may have ended at the recent high of 73,000. Veteran chart analyst Peter Brent said, he said 73, 74 might have been the top. This dude is the biggest clown in crypto. Do not listen to anything that he says. He is wrong. If I was a betting man, which I am, I would place a bet on this. If you can get a hold of Peter Brent, send him my way because I will bet him my entire XRP portfolio on the fact that this bull cycle, this bull market is not over and it's not even close to being over. Let's not forget this. The IMF, Ross Lackow, sitting next to Brad Golinghouse. Thanks, Ripples, for its expertise, advice, and guidance. I am very happy to say that Chris Larson, one of the co-founders of Ripple, of both part of that group to help guide the IMF, who's now sitting at, guess where? The Bank for International Settlements. Listen, please. We are engaging very closely with the private sector and the industry. And last year put in place a high-level advisory group of industry leaders from the private and public sectors to help guide us in our work on fintech. I'm very happy to say that Chris Larson, one of the co-founders of Ripple, and Sapnendo Mohante from the Monetary Authority of Singapore are both part of that group, and we're very grateful for the, work, the advice that they give. And now, don't forget the clip when Brad Garlinghouse was on stage with Ross and they talked about the IMF, if they would ever hold a cryptocurrency, and Ross kind of laughed, chuckled, didn't know what to say. Brad pretty much took over and answered the question for them. Don't forget all the meanings and all the pictures we've seen Brad with IMF, the old head Christine Lagarde, Ross Lackow, who now sits at the European Central Bank for Christine, and, and he's now with the BIS. Don't forget all the papers that are mentioned uh, from the BIS at state and talk about Ripple and what they're doing as a company and what the XRP token is doing. And now we have the stablecoin kicking in. Folks, the ties are deep. XRP, he grabbed crypto said, it's no secret. The XRP dominance has taken a significant hit dropping nearly 70% since the July pump. While a final shakeout might see it dipping into the yellow box, what happens next could be explosive. And highly, I'm highly convinced that the Fed, 0.702, is just the beginning. Once XRP dominance reaches this level, I'll begin my dollar sell average strategy. There you go. You can see it up top, the blue box. Steady, steady, steady. With 10% dominance of a $5 trillion total market cap, XRP could potentially reach around $9 to $10. Now, I'm believing his math. I didn't actually do the math on this. $9 to $10 is 100% a target this bull cycle. I'm a conservative person. You're probably like, Rip, you always tell us 3 to 650. Yes, 3 to 650 is my very conservative price targets. We could break that. I'm not saying we can't. But as you know, I'd rather be conservative and give everyone listening a realistic number so they can start their selling points and start to slowly make their way out. And if we hit these targets, then you know what? It's just an added bonus. If we don't hit them, no, you're going to be already getting out. So you're going to be looking like an absolute hero and you're going to not be upset because I've never met one person who gets mad for taking profit. Stripe, they're coming back to crypto and they're starting with stable coins. This is big. Stripe was anti-crypto. Stripe was with crypto. Stripe was anti-crypto. Stripe is now back with crypto. And PayPal's back with crypto as well. If you like Stripe, you're going to like this. Solana price, 120 or are we going to get a rebound to 150 We're currently sitting right in the middle. Listen, Solana, hate it, love it. I don't care, to be honest. We can make money on it. This thing is going 5 eight, maybe a thousand. We're looking at an easy 5X on Solana this bull cycle. I know the price doesn't look that attractive at $134, but you know what? It's going to make us money. And anywhere that's making us money, I'm down.
I'm down for it. I got the full list over in the Patreon group. If you're not a member, it costs you 25 bucks. You can come in. You can see what I'm doing. You can see all the assets I'm buying, and then you can get out. You know, pay it once, get a, get a hold of it. But if you want to stick around for those measly 25 bucks, you can see everything else that I'll be purchasing. You can see when I'm selling. You can see my next moves. And that's what the smart people are doing because they are following me as I guide them through these crypto waters. And we are loading up now because we are going to be taking some crazy-ass profits moving forward. And we get this, spot Bitcoin ETF is coming to Australia stock market by the end of 2024. That's a tweet in itself. What are we seeing? We're seeing the spot ETFs popping up. Asian markets, May 1st. We got US. We're going to have wave two of the US coming. We're going to have Australia next. You're just going to keep seeing these Bitcoin ETFs popping up and coming to life. You think Bitcoin, as Peter Brandt said, has already popped and we're not going to see this thing go up any higher? Think again, ETFs, institutional money is about to enter the space. These markets are about to go absolutely wild and bananas, folks. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.